the slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I can Claim warranty and RMA for EVGA PSU Power Supply Go to Google and then go to EVGA site Log into EVGA website using your credentials. If you don't have an account, please create one. It is needed to do RMA and warranty claim. RMA is product return and replacement method for EVGA. After you log in, go to services and then click product registration. You need to register the product before you can claim warranty and RMA. You can register your PSU or other EVGA product using the serial number provided on the back. You can use below examples to identify the serial number printed on your PSU. It will be a numeric code. Once you find the serial number enter it in the box, here I am just entering a sample number, yours will be different. Once done, click continue. Enter the details, enter the location from where you purchased your product and date of purchase. Click register product. Once you register product you will get an email detailing about the registration process. After getting email you can come and check service tickets page and it will display your product details. On the service request page you can create a new service ticket and view your ticket history. This is the page where you can contact the customer service agent regarding your warranty claim and product issues. After you submit a questions, it will take two business days for them to respond back but they will definitely respond, please wait for reply. You can click submit question to send a request and in the description box provide details about your product issue. After your register product, you also need to upload the receipt or invoice of your product purchase, this is to validate you are the right owner of the product. Now that the product is registered, Let's start the warranty claim. Click on RMA tab. Select the product you would like to claim and then click continue. Now you have two options to replace the product, standard RMA and cross ship RMA. Standard RMA rules are Free EVGA account membership and registration are required to contact customer service for troubleshooting and receive a support ticket for an RMA request. The standard RMA is open to both original owners and second-hand owners of the product. All owners must provide a proof of purchase in the form of an invoice or receipt. After approval, you will be responsible for shipping the product to EVGA, following our shipping guidelines, which can be found here. Upon receipt of your undamaged product, EVGA will process and ship a replacement to you within three business days, exclusive of time in transit. Shipments from EVGA to you will be made via ground shipping, although you may request and pay for expedited shipping. EVGA is not responsible for delays in delivery and does not guarantee any delivery dates. In short you will need to ship product as per their guidelines and pay for shipping the product to EVGA. After that they will give new product to you. Now let's see what's cross ship RMA. Free EVGA account membership and registration are required to contact customer service for troubleshooting and receive a support ticket for an RMA request. 
The standard Crossship RMA requires that you are the original owner of the product and can provide proof of purchase in the form of an invoice or receipt. After an RMA request is approved, you will be required to pay for the full replacement collateral price of your product. The cost of collateral is determined by EVGA based on the current product's MSRP price and is charged in US dollars. Once the collateral price is paid, EVGA will process and ship a replacement to you within three business days, exclusive of time in transit. Shipments from EVGA to your address will be made via ground shipping, although you may request and pay for expedited shipping. After your replacement product has been processed and shipped, you will then be responsible for shipping your defective product to EVGA, following our shipping guidelines. Upon receipt of your product, Without damage, EVGA will refund the collateral paid in full. In order to receive a full refund of your collateral, your original product must be received by EVGA within 14 days from the date EVGA shipped the replacement to your address. In short, for Crossship you get new product first and you pay for it as well. Then send the old one to EVGA. Here I am selecting Crossship RMA. Once you select RMA type you need to fill in more details. Select the reason for return. Before you can continue further you need to create a service ticket. This you can do by visiting service ticket page or by click the link provided. The service ticket number should pop up automatically once it is created by the EVGA support team. Once ticket is created come back to this page to continue, for now I will explain the rest of the process. You can fill in details or click I don't know to proceed further. I recommend fill as much as details if possible. Once you fill in details, select Accept the Terms and then click Submit RMA. Once you submit RMA, you will get an email confirmation. Once it is approved the RMA will show up in the Open RMA tab. You can also view your previous RMAs or claims under RMA history. This is the details of my previous crossship RMA I did. RMA has three main email notifications. The first email is received when submit the RMA, which confirms your RMA submission. This will have RMA ID which you can use to track or ask questions later. The second email is received when your RMA gets approved. This can take two to three business days depending on your ticket. Now you have to pay the price of your new product as collateral as mentioned in the steps. The final email is received once your collateral is paid, you will get this final confirmation. Now EVGA will start shipping your product. Once product is shipped, you will get tracking details from courier. Note that you won't be getting any shipping email from EVGA it will be from the courier and shipping provider. Also, this is the email confirmation received when you registered the product. 
Please subscribe, like, and share if you like this video.